Hi everybody, here I am on the tip of the Thleen Peninsula and I just wanted to give you a, well there's the life station there in the background and then as we come round you can see the sea with, should be coming up in a minute, Bard Sea in the background just there and I'm going to paint if I can get it a little bit better, that's it. I'm going to paint Bardsey now. I just wanted to give you a 360 degree view of what I'm looking at. And there's a spectacular wall behind me, full of lichen. It's so beautiful, the weather's gorgeous. It's a bit chilly, but it's lovely. I've been blessed. So I'm going to sit down and paint some watercolor postcards now. And I'll film them while I'm doing them so that you can have a go yourself. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so here I've got some very basic uh, en plein air painting materials. I've got a small Winsor & Newton watercolour uh, set. This comes with a brush and it has three areas for mixing, which is really useful. And then I've got um, a retractable pencil, which has a rubber on the end, which is really good for carrying around. So you're not carrying around rubbers and pencils. And I've got a number eight watercolour brush, round brush, just for laying some flat washes and a couple of Posca pens. I've got one in white and one in black. Um, that's just for finishing. And then I've got some fluid watercolour paper here, some hot press, acid free, 300 grams. And it's four by six, so it's postcard size. So they come with postcard image on the back so you can post it. And the reason why it's hot press is because it's completely flat. There's no texture. So I'm just trying out this out today. So hopefully you'll be able to see the finished product in a little while. So this is what I'm looking at at the moment. The sun has just come out, so it's rather bright. And I've just done a really quick sketch just there. Just did lightly in pencil. You don't need much more detail than that. Okay, so I've just put on a very thin coat of cerulean blue or cobalt blue on the sky, uh, wet or dry, and I've added a little bit of alizarin crisp crimson just above the horizon, just to warm up the sky slightly. I'm doing this in stages and filming it because I can't hold it and paint it. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, so I haven't got a stand or anything. So I'll just do it stage by stage, okay? So if we look at the scene that I'm looking at, Bard Sea again, you can see this, the cloud has come over again. So the sun is quite strong um, and I've tried to replicate that in some, some form by adding some ultramarine blue to the left and the right hand sides of the sea. And then I lifted off the middle section. So when I say lifting off, that is a clean, semi-dry brush and you just lift off the paint that's on the paper already, wipe it off on a paper towel and clean your brush and then just keep repeating until there's the required amount of paint in that section. Then once I was happy with that, I've just added a little bit of orange and a tiny bit of cadmium yellow just to sort of lift that area of sunlight just below Bardsey. Okay, so I'm, next I'm going to just wait for it to dry just a touch, which is not a bad thing here because it's quite windy, so it's quite quick. I'm going to apply some dark tone, probably some um, burnt umber, maybe with a bit of Payne's grey or something like that to the island and to the land on the very tip of the Thleen Peninsula where I'm sitting. Okay, so we have the final nearly finished painting. I'll take it home and work into it a little bit. Um, I've used a bit more ultramarine, a bit more paint correct. Oh, it nearly fell off my knees then. <laughs> um, it's quite windy here. Um, with a little bit of purple in the water, I've added a bit of Payne's Grey underneath the island which I use mainly Payne's grey on with a bit of burnt umber 
and then for the foreground I used a bit of sap green and a bit of Payne's grey and a bit of purple which I used ultramarine and alizarin crimson to mix a purple because I don't have a purple in my set so that's alizarin crimson that's for the um, heather there's quite a lot of heavier heather um, gorse uh, wild campion there's a few mushrooms around um, but yeah the scene is beautiful but it's starting to drop the light's starting to drop a bit now so I'll leave you with a shot of Bardsey and a little further shot of my painting. I'll finish it back at uh, the site and take a final picture and put that up so you can have a good look at it. Okay, so the paper that I used was quite good actually. It's, um, as I said at the beginning, it's hot pressed paper and that just means it's been flattened. I, I often remember it, uh, the word as, as a sort of feeling like you're, you're ironing it flat with a hot iron. And it's really good for botanical painting and a portrait painting. So I wasn't so sure how well it would respond to being used for landscape. And there is a lack of texture, but it behaves really nicely. It lifts really nicely. It takes the paint well. It doesn't seem to stain too badly either so yeah if you haven't got smooth paper don't worry or hot pressed pepper just use pepper <laughs> just use uh, whatever you've got in your set and get outside and um, enjoy some on plein air painting while you can I'll just leave you with a final shot of what I'm looking at I hope it's clear I can't really see it in my uh, screen and say goodbye for now. Bye from Bardsey.